What's going on guys, this is your boy Dread Zero back with another video. Today I'm going to be playing episode 2 of Batman the Telltale series. I am very excited to get started. The story was starting to look real good, went from 0 to 100 real quick. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. And before we continue, if you do like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as it does help spread this content throughout YouTube. And I want to grow this community. And if you like gaming, talking and laughing, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content in this series or any other videos that I post. Without any more talking, let's get straight into it. Okay, we get previously. It's like a movie, but it's like a game. It's Revolution crazy. is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Yeah, I didn't like that thread before. I don't like Mr. it now, Wayne. so... Thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild A lot did happen in the first episode. It's dangerous. Honestly. That's good though. That means this rest of the series is gonna be popping. Just to be able to keep up with the first episode. <laughs> the chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. Somebody. <sighs> It's the Waynes. <coughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. I'm just like my boy Alfred was in the picture. So like, I don't know. I felt like he knew something was up. Had to have known. Right, Bruce in the middle of a dark alley by himself. You don't have to do this. Uh, crime alley. Okay, you that makes perfect sense. Bruce. I thought I might find you here. And Gotham, every alley is crime the news alley. Was so upsetting for both of us, but. You should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. I'm not going to go against Alfred. I'm going to just Tell me all keep it light right now. I wish I could. It's there unbelievable, are no really. in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth you is... You don't got to be so aggressive, my were guy. billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind True. of money takes True. you. My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Oh, so true. Alfred ain't spit nothing but facts Hill right now. Greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone. But why did you keep this a secret, Alfred? Nothing happened in Gotham. Yeah, now I got a question him. that. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. You never told I me about to it. Know, I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. And why are you telling us right then now? They were you could have been told us before we became Batman. Alone. And I just 
couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Man, he did let us down, but Alfred, my How dog, bro. Hold this against you. You're all I've got, Alfred. Alfred, my dog, since day Thank one. You. I won't let you day down one. again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd find Oh yeah, I tried to fix the audio father. too, so I couldn't believe a low life thug hope. like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too too big. Yet there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can Things recall change. every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. All right, Detective Mo activated. You already know we own the case. All right. Start looking around for some stuff. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want we to can't. Ask him we can't be too question. dark. Can't be too dark. Why? My That's not what it's well, given him anything. Yes, Batman. Why would he just yeah. shoot them? I don't know. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. I felt like maybe saying that we would kill him. I mean, because I'm not going to cap. Somebody kill my parents. Definitely might want to do the same to them. But this is about breaking generational curses, people. Okay. All right. So we're not going to follow in pursuit of what our father, Thomas Wayne, had said before us, okay? Why would y'all walk into Crime Alley, though? That's the crazy part. He just kind of set themselves up, to be honest. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. Uh, I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Wonder if there's something on the ground over here. And did I miss anything over here? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. All right, so I'm about to go back up to the front part of the alley. Sorry, uh, y'all see me fidgeting with my collar, bro. Like, I look all janky for the video. I'm trying to look professional in this beat. Okay, so clearly I missed something. I, I missed something. This is this is not I'm not living up to my name as world's best detective right now. Oh wait, 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 oh yeah, there we go. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. She probably didn't have nothing to do with it. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. 
maybe. Do I really want to know? I think you do. And we're going to find out. This game's solid, bro. This game is actually pretty solid. Stay back. Take whatever you want. That's a person. person. Just business. He told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this. He don't kill kids, bro. Oh, never mind. He tried it. He tried it. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a bug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Bro, every episode hit so far. I don't. I can't say that about every episode, but they usually introduce the episode pretty hard, bro. I like that. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Bro, is that the dude that tried to don't mug us? Wrong. I'm yeah, it is. You, but this could land us both At in the hot park. water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. Hey, I'm trying to keep the you on our side, bro. Shoulders with Falcone, to chill. The press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm you not sure, the truth. but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne. Welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you well, need That was a slick comment, Gordon. I don't know if I like that. Harvey's not in my pocket, Lieutenant. He always does what he thinks is right. Well, it's lucky your interests align. Bro, I probably look like a kiss ass. <laughs> Oh, man. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police Rene support you. Montoya. Despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. Who are you to meet with me at the We're table? keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Batman is a hero. Time talk us Whoever he up. is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you got to say. We'll be out here. All right, let's keep it civil. Let's keep it civil, Bruce.
Children of Arkham. The okay. hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> we need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> you're your father's son. And you're a piece yeah, of that's crap. Right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Hmm. Let's get some information out of him. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the I'm door. I'm gonna... Got a whole closet full of I just want to keep digging. I was never digging. able to give you. Convince me, then. Tell me a story about our... Big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. We gotta play on this Your ego father, a little bit, you feel me? Hill and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? All right, y'all, I'm a little like a simp, but I want to know the information. Remember, that's what it's for. Remember that. We're going to ease the pain so he tell us a little bit more, okay? Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. I'm not gonna kill you never just know yet. The whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I need you coherent, or you would be gone already. <laughs> oh, there it is. That Wayne streak. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. What that mean? I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? Probably Hill, the other person you in the trifecta. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die. Bro, I am shook right now. The f Get what is that all over her down. mouth? Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Dang, we were just about to figure it out, but I'm more shocked. Like, what? Wow, I need to regroup. I need to regroup after that. And we are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time. Bro, that thing smoke. Much. Word's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Oh, it's a disgrace. 
Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. <sighs> Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Yeah, let's get the facts, the bro. Like, coming. let's not just We're go out there and lie without knowing the actual truth. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Y'all just leaving me in there? I'm not a detective. I mean, I'm a detective, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm always on the job, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I am not a legal detective. Y'all just gonna leave us in here? I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Oh, okay, all right, all right. On the case. Yeah, let's look at her neck. What the heck is that? Fresh injection site. She's been shooting up. Doesn't look like blood. Her veins still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Bro, your phone can do that? Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. I believe her. so foggy. She literally looks about to cry right now. A sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to. No matter what. The mm. reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice. It was saying something about revolution. Oswald. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, hey, don't worry about that now. Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcone. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Bro, she always there ready for a story, bro. Wh what are you doing here? What My are friends you in doing the, in the here? My GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. 
Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit at the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Oh, I know. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell Bro, by the way you're brushing should I be honest? Just give me something to read. <sighs> a police sergeant, Renee Montoya. Wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. I I want to keep on her good side, bro. I just don't want her writing no more bad shit about us. Was it wrong to sell her out? Maybe. But I feel like I didn't want any more bad news about Bruce because that gets in the way. You feel me? Hopefully, Vicky won't do nothing crazy with that information. Either Cobblepot I didn't think we were going to give her a name, too. Someone else Bruce out here really snitching beyond what I decided. Either way, so, I need to find him. You know, Let's that ain't on me. In the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Thrown in his by the sword, bed, by the sword. Surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he's so somebody can be executioner. Was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Why? Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both the clearly like a advanced version of it, fall apart. more controlled version. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you. Oh. Considering the that's where I feel like it's going, Falcone, honestly. It could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. All right. It's lagging a little bit. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Where we can't tap into people's phones? Bring me her head. All right. 
back over here. Yeah, though, you go. Be the right. Right. for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Hey, we get some more Batman action? Hey, Batman come out in the daylight? I don't know how I feel about that. Frankenstein looking dude in the back. I don't know how they didn't hear you know. that, but come check out this office. Where is I don't know? You can help me. What? Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on the Okay, y'all be so dramatic. I did not. The of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. <laughs> As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took money from people that couldn't fight back here's the thing i actually admire you batman we both want the same kinds of things me and my people we've got big plans for gotham they found catwoman what do you want with oh, are they going after catwoman you already know we on the job you ain't about to take my baby down like that so sorry this didn't work out mate I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> uh, I might have to fight this dude. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared of this dude in no cap. Try harder than this. Knock the wind out of us. Oh, he fast on his toes, too. Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Mm 
Then we got her number already. I guess it's not hard for us to find a number where the uh, world's best detective, so. A new twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Yeah. Did you hear? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Uh... Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. <laughs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. You've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When Dang, his name carried that much weight. You really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly, you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. Let her know she's not alone. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. Right, I mean, you she's stop? not really a superhero, bro. That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie. The gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After oh, all, she trying to flirt. I'm really an all work and no play kind of girl. Okay. Harvey knows that. Let's go ahead and uh, pick a different. Pretty uh... clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Yeah. Play with the romance a little bit. Man. Well, Bruce. You were right. Selena Kyle. Penguin says, hello. 
If he don't get the old west side story looking. All right, let's get it. Uh, I Peter, think we about to fight, right? We're here for her. Yeah, I get that vibe. Skin, you'll get the hell out. I'm gonna impress her. Dang, you just grab women like that? We do this all day. Let's get it. Teamwork. Bro, what's up with these people and their baby knives, bro? Not done yet. Damn it, getting back up. Batman had lost his touch, everybody. I guess he really can't go hard in one way to get identity. Want more? Then let's give it to him. Hey. that you fight pretty good for such a pretty boy my controller just decided to go crazy real quick so I don't know what happened there come so on to this go way. to the right Y'all ain't even check, bro. Are we alone? Half-ass job. Yeah, we're, we're alone. Do I want to play mysterious? Man, fuck it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't, normally Batman would be like, I don't know, but maybe he don't. He used to play that I'll game with the Ryan playing no games. You take the alley. I know Bruce Warner. I'm gonna help Wait. my guy out. I'm like the ultimate omnipotent wingman, bro. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Yeah, I got a feeling it's gonna come back to bite me, but Alfred, I'm uploading. <sighs> it this is what it is, right? Computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm really playing a playing with my head and my heart. or my heart rather than my head, I guess. There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill. The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Mm. This is very shady indeed. 
Hills working with them. Like I said, nobody was suspecting him, but he's literally the third part of the trifecta, bro. I should have guessed. Hills working with Penguin. If Hills talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Okay. Okay. All right. This is big decision time. All right. So what Alfred said is right. People like how Batman handled it. People already don't like Bruce. So like going as Bruce would make more sense. But I just have to make sure that I smooth talk my way into the details. If I go as Batman and I rough him up, both they hate both Bruce and Batman. It's a clear decision. I'm gonna have to go with I'm gonna have to go with I'm going as Bruce. I'm going as Bruce. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. 